Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, today, verse 32 through 37. Now a herd of many swine was feeding there on the mountain, so they begged him that he would permit them to enter them, and he permitted them. Then the demons went out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the lake and drowned. When those who fed them saw what had happened, they fled and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what had happened and came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And they also who had seen it told them, By what means he, he who had been demon-possessed was healed. Then the whole multitude of the surrounding region of the Gadarenes asked him to depart from them, for they were seized with great fear, and he got into the boat and returned. So here's the conclusion of our story from yesterday morning. Uh, the guy that's demon-possessed, Jesus throws the demons out. The demons want to go out into the swine. That's pigs. Pigs are unclean. There's a lot of health issues with pigs. Uh, one time I gave a ride to a guy down through the Columbia Gorge. He was uh, he worked on a pig farm, and he was telling me how uh, pigs are pumped full of hormones, growth hormone, and given antibiotics and shots all the time. And and yikes, it just sounds like you wouldn't want to eat any of that. And of course, in the book of Leviticus chapter 11, we find out that it's not a fit food uh, for, for people that want to be right with God, want to be healthy. Anyway, the demons want to go out into the pigs. So, But Jesus lets them go out. The interesting piece here, really, though, is that this guy, when the demons depart, he's clothed, he's in his right mind, and he's sitting there at the feet of Jesus. He's, he's, getting, he's learning already uh, what he can from Jesus right then and there. Now, the other piece that's interesting here is uh, the people around the country, they all gather around. You know, it's a notable thing that's happened. And what do they do to say, Jesus, Jesus, please, uh, we're right here. Please give us a big Bible study. Tell us what to do next. You know, is there enough water here for us to be baptized in the lake? No. Their pigs have, have run down violently into the lake, verse 33, and they were drowned. So they've lost all this money so to speak, because they were pig farmers. So what do they do to Jesus? They say, look, you're done here. Please leave. We don't want you. Go away. They run Jesus out of their country. So like the, the, the loss of the pigs, so now we're going to run Jesus out too. Later, they want the gospel preached to them. It's not happening here, but later they will. So we can be thankful for that. Jesus is merciful. Jesus, when Jesus it doesn't, they don't want Jesus around, what does he do? He leaves. And if you are talking to somebody about the things of God and they say, look, don't, don't talk to me about it anymore, you can know in your mind and say, this person is wrong, but you know what? God gave them free will. You need to stop. Don't wrestle them to the ground and try to try to shout the sense into them. You know, Pray for them. Leave them approachable. Uh, these people asked Jesus to leave. He left. And if somebody asked you to back off, leave me alone with my false uh, religious views, you know what? You back off. Uh, you can pray for them, though, and watch and see what God does. So interesting pieces, lots of them here. Imagine asking Jesus to leave your city. But anyway, let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for delivering this man. Thank you for showing your power to save. Lord, please work for us, deliver us, uh, keep us in your influence stronger than any demon influence. Uh, give us your grace too, Lord, to share your truth and yet also to respect others. Even when they make a, a wrong decision, an irrational decision not to hear your truth, help us to respect that and leave them in an approachable state. Thank you for sending your Holy Spirit in every encounter we have with others where we're seeking to give them some insight and draw them toward your kingdom. Bless us, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, lessons from Jesus, even when we want to. We don't want to bite our tongue. We don't want to back off. There's a lesson from Jesus. Sometimes stop talking. Leave people approachable. God bless you today in all that you do.